Hi. Welcome to an episode of Flow with the Pie Project. Um, full disclosure, this is my first time getting on here and trying to record. And I think of a lot of this is just going to be getting comfortable with talking to no one. Um, and also getting comfortable with actually practicing and teaching at the same time because that's not something I'm very familiar with. Um, I love being an observer and actively participating with the people in the room with their practice and cueing as to what's happening in the body. So for me, this is a little bit different. Um, and also, to be honest, you know, yoga for me uh, is a huge part of not only connecting with myself, but also with other people. Um, being able to read the room and the energy in the room is what feeds me as an instructor. Um, and that's a big part of my yoga practice is teaching. So with everything that's been going on the last few weeks, um, I myself have been struggling a lot, um, kind of like where to put my energy. Uh, to be completely honest, I usually have so much to do that I have lists running for multiple you know, jobs and, and things that I have going on. And also finding like a sense of purpose, right? Needing to be needed um, in all these different areas of my life and then like everything just to kind of go silent. And that's really been difficult for me. Um, and as the Pi Project, one of like our main missions and goals overall is to increase people's optimal health. And um, an optimization of health is found through, um, you know, basically a complete state of mental um, and physical and social well-being. So everything that's happening right now is is so new and different, I think, for most of us, um, especially like yogis who learn um, how to connect with people to create stronger bonds and relationships. Um, so this is all just, um, you know, very different and very new for most of us. Uh, so with that, I'm inviting you here into my home um, and on to my mat. My boyfriend, Eric, set up this cute little space for me to practice in and to do record some things because it's also hard because I'm not able to service any of the organizations that we were teaching um, in the jail, um, some of the other organizations that we are providing um, yoga classes for and working to provide our yoga life skills program for. And even all the things that we were like working on and um, new programming that was coming out in the DuPage area. So a lot has been kind of been put on hold and so finding energy right now for anything um, like I'm feeling really tired even though for the first time in probably years I'm not doing a lot and I don't know what that is um, and so I'm just hoping that you know doing some of these videos providing people some resources to connect with me and the Pi Project still um, and have a platform and maybe we'll even do some live stream classes um, and more some creative classes you know the yoga mat has kind of got me in a weird space like it's just another thing that I'm confined to um, so you know stay tuned I'm probably going to put together something a little bit more playful and fun that doesn't require a yoga mat but some some movement that hopefully we can all get into even virtually so um, you're going to join me on my mat. I'm not 100% sure how this is all going to work, but in the end, hopefully I've been able to speak loud and clear and it works good and I can throw it up on YouTube and um, send it out to some of the other organizations for them to give to their clients during this time. So with that, let's go over to the mat.